And let me see your wah 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 I danced mm. that song recently at a Halloween party. I've been getting down, honey. Talking about Patty. Yeah. Was you Patty? Crabby Patty. Crabby. Patty. I almost, I almost pulled her out of the duffel bag today. <gasps> For the show. I did. Oh I my god. Did. Hey y'all, it's your girl Nelly D, and I. Hey guys, guess what? We're back. The Nellie Drayton Show is coming back. However, there's a couple of changes that we have to talk about. One of those changes being we're going to be audio only for a little bit, at least. Wait, 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 wait. Why are we only going to be audio only? Oh, we are way too busy to pull cameras out. And, then, you know, we got to beat faces. We ain't got no time for that. And that's okay. The people are going to understand that. Am I, am I right, people? <laughs> We're going to do audio only for just a little bit, just so we can at least come back and give you guys, show you guys some love, show you, give you what you want, because we know you guys want the Nelly Drayton show back. So we're going to give it, we're going to give it to you. Hold up. Wait a minute. Drew also has a Twitch channel, and I'm pretty sure you know what it's called. You know it. I'm going to say it anyway. It's LOL. LOL. Probably Drew. Probably Drew. And again, one more time for the people in the back. LOL. Probably Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all know what it is. Go look him up. You might see me on there from time to time. You're going to see him on there doing his thing, doing his suck fizzle, having his channel set out. He has a whole schedule and everything. So if you are a Twitch lover, you're going to love his Twitch channel. LOL, probably jerk on Twitch. And we also have a special episodes on the Nelly Drayton show. You're going to see me doing some alter reactions, reactions to pretty much anything that people send me. And you're going to see Drew on there as well. So, listen, our faces might be gone for the podcast. But everything else in between that, it's going to be on and popping. Right? Mm. Yes, ma'am. Cool, cool, cool. Well, um, yeah, so back to this last visual episode. It's not a goodbye. It's more like a see you later. Yeah, or a hello from the outside. Because <laughs> you can't see my face, but you can hear me. You know what oh. I'm saying? Okay. I'm hearing you. The one and only Drew with me, LOL, probably Drew, on IG. Show him lully la la love. Please, please do. And of course, who would I be if I did not introduce the one and the only Miss Nellie Drayton of the Nellie Drayton Show, also known as at Nellie Drayton across all social media platforms. All social media platforms you name it she's got it her name is nelly drayton on it okay. period period poo so we just gonna jump right into it we're yeah. gonna talk about friends how many of us have been friends <laughs> hey the All right. Oh, sorry. You want to finish your solo? Okay. Um, <laughs> so we're going to talk about friends today, but we're going to like go down a bunch of different like avenues of friends. So we're going to talk about like just friendships in general, what they mean to us, what we define as a friend, but we're also going to get a little messy and talk about like friend zoning. Ooh. Because one of us here at this couch um, has definitely been around the block several times and has a a story or two up their hat so and i'm i don't care (laughs) all right look i don't care i would i would live stream a colonoscopy you know i don't care what so y'all stay tuned next week's episode (laughs) (laughs) oh no i turned it off i think (laughs) Oh my gosh! I'm <laughs> on his life. Yeah. Um, you don't want to be a feature. <laughs> that's a long path. I do not want to take. Whoa, whoa! It's not that long, honey. See what I not did that there. long. I mean, I've been around the block. I didn't say the block's been around me. Ooh. Okay. Oh, but um. 
Oh, okay, I'm I'm good for a one liner. Y'all y'all should know this by now. Period. Poo. Any hazers. We gonna get into it. We're gonna get right into it. So Nelly, get us on our way. Boy, if you don't get post Nelly. <laughs> Post Nelly be so sick and tired of us. Nelly be be wore out. She's yeah. like, why are y'all give me so much work? I swear. Why can't y'all just sit here and talk like regular people? Y'all do all this extra stuff. I gotta be screaming in the mic. It's she just a rough struggling. time for Post Nelly. I hate that for you. <laughs> really do. Just pray. For Sorry, Post Nelly. Positive energy vibes. Mm -hmm. vibes. Mm -hmm. okay. So friendships. Mm. So Nelly, what? I do this every time, every freaking time. It's okay. You're booked and busy, babe. No. And the words it's of it's bye bye dog. Um, friendships. So what is, what is like the quintessential quality of a f what? Good the word, but oh. I mean, I gotta look at it. I've never heard the word. That's quintessential. What, yeah, I've never heard that word. It's like pretty much like a key thing. So, like, what what is like a key thing in all of your friendship that you've noticed? Like, what is like one thing that all of your friends possess, which lets you know, like, maybe they're a good friend. They're all funny. Oh, <laughs> all of my friends, because I definitely know I'm funny. You are <laughs> most definitely funny. All of my friends are I key 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 hilarious. So you like to laugh. Laughing is important to you. Heck yeah. Okay. The world's already crazy. I mean, I just told you before the podcast, you know, I have to laugh through the pain. <laughs> so, you know, I love a good hee hee ha ha because if I wasn't a hee ha ha, I was going to probably boo hoo it. Or pow pow. Which, just side note, real quick, I've been crying a lot lately. Like, a lot. Is it like Girl, emotional? Like, oh, I was watching. It's a little embarrassing. I told my friend, so I don't care. Um, <laughs> I was watching at work because yeah, I like to have things like playing in the background or whatever. So I like have my phone like right on my little computer and I'm watching stuff or whatever. I was watching <laughs> Super Nanny. Super Are you familiar neat. with the show? No. It's about this this British woman who goes to people's homes and like helps them like discipline their children. Mm. Child, when them when them kids turn it around, it just does something to me. It just does something to me. When Eat, it turns the nanny around? Like no, when the kids like pull their, their act together and then like the super nanny's like, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> it just <laughs> just it just <laughs> me up girl tears me <laughs> i'm so proud of you <laughs> i knew it i knew it tickled you so i knew it but um yeah whenever they like whenever the story turns good it just oh i mean and i would watch and then i still had venus at the time but one point i turned around i was like am i a good daddy and she just like you know did what dogs did and just look at me and i'm like okay i was a mess Wait, so yeah, we're laughing. Lately. Yeah. We're laughing at what was said. Yeah. But you were crying. I was oh, and when I when I say crying, I mean like the ugly cry, like the cry that you really are only allowed to do in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> like the whole <laughs> a mess. Crying and I was like, I had to tell people that I'm I'm crying a lot because before I was a little nervous because I wasn't crying a whole lot and I was like am I a sociopath because you weren't you're crying like, on emotion a little bit and I was like I've been through some I've there's some things have happened to me and I was solid like it, you wasn't shedding it like I was not even really tripping on it it made me a little nervous and I was like oh my god I think it's happening like I think that's the turn <laughs> when like you go from like being a human to like not which you know we all know no. Oh no 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 I'm just I no no actually no oh. even though that's oh. trying to no I'm just for real. Oh well, yeah no 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 oh yeah no yeah <laughs> yeah no 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 for sure yes. <laughs> no I totally get what you're saying yeah 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 you were there babe you were there you had taken up property Wait. yeah you were there sweetheart Wait, what? you were there Wait. like the whole like not like like stripped of emotions moment you were there sweetheart yeah wait hold on louisa look we are having this is a definitely a good segue into friendships you're a real good friend is gonna tell you about yourself friends what 
I, what do you mean? I'm, a, I'm an emotional you, person. You, you, you are. Just your range of emotions was very limited. Very limited. To like angry and... Yeah, there was a lot of that. Mm. It was. You gotten better. You gotten better. You've opened. Well, maybe it's because you had. You maybe you weren't like opening up to me because I definitely have seen more sides of you. Yeah. But there was a lot of there was a lot of anger there for a while. <laughs> I was like, oh, she's just an angry person. But like, you were never angry at me. So I was like, you know, whatever. You're gonna go off sis. But I was like, oh, she's an angry girl. She's, a, she's well, an angry girly. I'm happy go lucky. I want you. No, you are. You are. I know that now. I've gotten. To, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten to know that now. I would say when we were in training and then like shortly after training, because you know the situation that you felt very strongly about yes. for a very long time. And Which I remember, one? Oh, I only know of one. <laughs> was I was I like checked out for something? <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was only aware of one situation that you were like really like not able to let go of. You probably still have it. I don't remember the that. lady in training who touched you. Oh yeah, no, I'm never gonna let go yeah, of that. Yeah, she's she's, nah. a, she's an opera yeah. life. So yeah, you. I mean, I remember side. when you were talking about it, and I was like, we're almost we're about to go home. Like you're gonna let, you're gonna let go like God on that one. She's an op for life. She see, she's still with it. Because why'd you touch me? <laughs> I'll never get over that. Like, yeah. we're at a big age. We, yeah. And she was at a much bigger age. She got gray hairs. Her whole head is gray. Yeah. At this point, you touching somebody and you're in a leadership role. You it was an inappropriate situation, for sure. You need to go to jail. <laughs> she said, <laughs> you're going to prison. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all are going to jail. What? What's going on? Y'all are going to jail. Period. Hell. <laughs> he needs to go. I used to have it saved on my phone. I was like, uh, Y'all are going to jail. Period. Period. You're like, oh, no, no because I'm. <sighs> no, you, you, you have definitely, in the emotional area, you have definitely improved. Oh, thank you. You've improved. I'm my best. You, you've softened. <gasps> you have softened. It's because of the people around me. See, I cut off a couple of toxic. That'll do it selfish arrogant insensitive uh, leeches i cut them off well i think and i feel better comfortable with being soft you don't have to you're not putting on masks and in we i mean i guess for myself on this situation like working from home i mean you do really start to learn a little bit about yourself i think that's what it is too yourself i think that's what it is too not having to be in a i've never i've never space. spent so much time with just me mm -hmm. and it's like you learn a lot about yourself so i think maybe like just working from home and being able to like go at, you know go at life at your own pace and kind of i think it has really helped you come into a, a soft girl era I like that. I like that you're saying that because yeah. there's some guys who would disagree, but well, and <clears throat> not really into that. Oh no, 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 oh. not gonna really get into that, babes. Okay. Anyways, but we will get back into is friendships. Yes. So your key thing about um, friends or something that you notice in all your friends that you would consider like really good friends that they're funny. Yeah. I think something that I notice with all my friends is um, that I would consider like my good friends, which I only have like a handful of them. Um, I just think that they're all like open to me. Like they accept me for who I am. I accept them for who they are. There's no like weird gray area where it's kind of like, I don't know where we stand. Like we just have full clarity on our friendship. And with every person that like I'm really good friends with, like I can say that about all of them. Hmm. Is, is there's no like there's no like you know how you have like a person that you're like are we frenemies it's like we make it like digs at each other but like i know they're my like, good friend like i know they're my good judy but they be making like little remarks because they know me you know they know about my past and whatnot mm -hmm. See, i don't have nothing like that them little jokes i have nothing like that i had those but then again i'm also not like sensitive to stuff like that but i am i i know I know. To the, I told you. I, I think know. I told you. You did. They, hey, you them did. little, them little digs that people that I thought were my friends once, just, just know it's a good thing that you don't have that because. Mm -mm. Well, I, I don't tolerate stuff like that because I'm very, I'm very forward. Like, I mean, you can attest. I'd be saying all kinds of shit to you, like, girl, 
that today? We're doing that today? No. Oh. Like, I'd woke you, I'll bring it to your front door, and I don't have to knock. You go, no, I'm here. I got no problem with it. And that's because that's just how I've I've lived my life up to this point. And I don't believe in changing anything if it is if it's, you know, getting getting you results. Yeah. And if I'm like talking to people or if, if I feel like someone is, is treating me some kind of way, then what's what's going on? Speak up, yeah. What's going on? Tell me about what's going on. Yeah. I don't play I think that. I, I like that you have those friendships where it's all open and the mm-hmm. respect and the boundaries and all the love is there. It, it gives you room to continue to be soft. I yeah. think that's why I'm, I'm, in my past, I was probably <clears throat> way more angry. You were in your hardcore era. Yeah, because it was too many. I was getting attacked by people that were supposed yeah, to be Yeah, you were defensive. Like, I remember one time, I think we had like a conversation and I was like, oh yeah, she's like real like, like she's on guard with everybody. Yeah, like, because I think I like I don't think me and you ever had like a I don't think me and you had ever had an issue, but I think me and you had a conversation about something, and it was like I can't remember what, but I remember I walked away and I was like, okay, yeah, she's like got her guard up with like everybody, and I was like, okay, I don't because it's like when I was because when I when I'm open to people who I obviously they don't deserve that level of yeah. like mutual respect from me, mm-hmm. but if I'm open to you and then you feel the need to like dig or still criticize me while I'm like being mindful of you but you're not being mindful of me I learned like talking to my therapist I'm Mm -hmm. just not the type of person that's just gonna walk away and let that go like that's gonna sit with me for a while because it's like well it's like okay when I think of like friendships like I know we've talked about like relationships and we use a lot of like you know different kind of like uh, I don't know what what the word is but we like um have these sayings for our, our relationships or whatever I also preach the same thing when it comes to my friendships like what you pour into me is what i pour back into you yep and my i i don't have any time to tolerate anything that's like not pouring something that's like fruitful Mm -hmm. so if you're pouring like some real ugly negative oh you gonna get it back but i promise you what you get back is not gonna come in the same package that you sent it to me okay it's not going to be because i'm ruthless um but that's because I I protect myself, and when somebody if somebody gets in there, like somebody wheels their way past the you know the facade that we all put up to protect ourselves. Mm-hmm. If you get past that, and I at a later stage realize, oh, you're not it, you're not the I T G I R O. Like no, 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 you got to go. And when I send you packing, baby, it's gonna hurt because you shouldn't. You do not have a VIP pass. Ooh, you are not allowed backstage. Ooh, so you've got to go. Security, Ooh. stop. Curdy. Uh, Curdy. Oh my god. Yeah. Because I'm like definitely that. I like that. I'm definitely I'm giving main character energy. So But see, that's the thing that I lacked. I liked yeah. that for the longest. Like yeah. everybody was welcomed. Everybody I wanted um <clears throat> everyone to feel safe and welcome because mm-hmm. I don't know, that's just my heart. And then once I realized like people didn't care if I felt that, it was like, Y'all really don't care about me. Yeah. Like it, it started did, to yeah. harden my heart because I'm like, mm-hmm. Y'all really Y'all don't care about me. I th- it's a, it was a lesson that I had to learn that people don't like navigate the world in the same like rose colored lenses that I do. That's why I got these black yeah. shades on. Yeah, the hater block is on. Um, no, that was a lesson that I had to learn that like I can go through this world and and you you know you know me I'm very optimistic. Yeah, I like to really see the bright side of things. Like to really be a positive person. That's just me. Yeah. That's just who I am. I realize that. Not everybody navigates the world like that. So if something happens to me and I can find like the good side of it or the positive side, that's not everyone's story. Mm-hmm. And when I realized that, I realized like, okay, maybe, you know, I still find the right side of things and, and justify like, oh, well, maybe they are, you know, maybe they've gone through a lot. You and know, I'm the I person. Do, I do stuff like <laughs> you that do all that. the time. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. like, anytime she says anything, I'm like, Nelly, well, you, we don't know. Like, so this could have happened. And I'd be like, you playing devil's advocate for the devil himself. Oh, girl. No, that's not Look, what we do. That's what I do. Because I don't know. I learned something at my previous job, and it, and it was talking about having positive intent, um, having, uh, making positive assumptions of what it does for you. Yeah. And, like, the lesson was pretty much like, for example, you walk into a room with some girls that you know, maybe not very well, but you walk into a room with some girls. And when you walk in, they stop talking. What are you going to think? What would you think? You walk in the room, and as soon as they turn around and see you, they stop talking. 
Well, that's happened to me before. But what do you? I, so but I just not, put my nose up higher in the air and just walk in a away. hypothetical situation. You would like walk in the room and think they're like talking about you, right? Yeah, yeah, hypothetically, yeah. But if you and, and okay, so you walk into the room, see them talking, they see you, stop talking, you instantly start thinking, oh, they was talking about me. Mm-hmm. Well, if they were talking about you, and they don't want you to know. Then they must be talking, saying something negative about you. See how like when you like view it negatively, you can already like justify how you can treat them poorly because you assume. Mm-hmm. When you could just assume positive, could they be talking about you? Sure. Is that any of your business? Mm-hmm. No. Other people's other people's opinion is not your business. Not part. So if I walk into the room and I see that they stop talking, I'm like, oh, they must have noticed I got good clothes on. Or see what I do to a room when I walk in. <laughs> yeah. Everybody on mute. Okay. <laughs> Look around. It's me and my coop. Okay. Big big energy. I give big energy. I give no a lot of energies that are big. Um, but <laughs> it's been a long month um it's only listen baby tenth. um but um <laughs> me and you both but uh no like that that lesson obviously like really impacted me because i was like m- my view of people is the only thing that i have control over yeah and how i navigate situations is the only control i have over situations i can't walk into a room and and just know everyone's intention just because of the way it looks because i can always you know be deceiving yeah so i don't know i just anything that has really impacted me in like a way that can help me maintain my like your sanity yeah you know? i'm taking it sure. i don't care how delulu i sound i'm taking real it. delulu i sound a little delusional but i'm gonna That's take fine. it but you know what though the best part about thinking like that is that honestly it just takes the pressure off of thinking negatively it takes well it takes the work because it's it takes a lot of energy to be negative anyway that's something like i'm learning mm-hmm. and just being protective and setting the boundaries, you know, what would you suggest to somebody who does think like that and they want to switch? They um, want to think like true. They want to have I think like maybe not have. have like perfect rose colored glasses, right? Or the rose filter. Yeah. Maybe just like dandelions, sunflowers. I'll say um, first check in with yourself. Check in with yourself. See what's going on. Yeah. A lot of times, I think a lot of times we have a lot of stressors in our lives. We have a lot of things in our lives that start to bleed into other aspects of our lives. Yeah. So I think if you can maybe like tackle that first, that'll make the next part easier. And the next part is is just like slowing down. Mm-hmm. Like I think so many times, like when it comes to our thinking, you know, we kind of navigate the world in a very absent-minded way. Like the other day I realized I was driving and I had – I drove, I don't know how many miles, and I had no idea. I do that. I do that all. I literally, like, check out, and I'll be thinking about something, and I'll be checking out, and I'm like, there was a turn here, and I made it, and I don't know how. Oh, you did it? Oh, my gosh. So, we navigate the world in a very, very absent-minded way. That's deep. That's deep. And I think we just need to, like, slow down Mm -hmm. and check in when you're having, like, these situations where you're, like, like, practice. Like, mm-hmm. if there's, like, someone in your family that maybe you don't particularly care for, check in with yourself. You know, really, like, center yourself as as to what you're wanting to do. And then maybe, like, not necessarily confront, but engage. And then practice. And then you'll find when you, like, practice it more often, when you find yourself in these situations where you have to, like, you know, be positive or it benefits you to be positive, it will come, like, way more naturally. I'm not a psychologist That's, or anything. I mean, you are spitting heavy facts. I'm over here thinking to myself, like, you think Janelle, there's a reason why you guys get along so well because you're like yin and yang. Oh, you're yeah, just you're black and I'm white. Oh my God. Everything literally, I'm over That's here crazy. like, Drew, what would you suggest? Because if I suggest it, <laughs> they're an op for life. Listen, well, if you want it from me, I'm going to tell you what it is, oh. okay? If they hurt you once, they're going to do it again. They don't care about you. That's not necessarily wrong. They don't care about That's you. Not necessarily wrong. <laughs> That's not necessarily wrong. And sometimes you have to, for me, sometimes I have to think like that so that I just completely remove the, the overthinking process. Yeah. Like, yeah, that I saw something. It. I saw something on Twitter and it was like when you continuously replay a situation or negative experience, it's taking up your RAM. It's taking up your your brain space, mm-hmm. like your storage it's, space. It's, it's so I tell rent. myself living rent free in your mind that part. So I'll be telling myself they don't care about me. I might as well just stop caring about them. Who cares? Just I'm one of those out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. The moment I stop seeing you, it's so much easier to get over whatever and forget it, move on and live life. Yeah, be careful with that, though, because I, I found myself in a rut where, like, 
I was so quick to do that Mm -hmm. that I it started becoming a a self fulfilling prophecy, where like I would like look for red flags and sometimes where they didn't exist, just so I can be like, see what I tell you. He I knew he was trash, and it's like, yeah, she was a pretty decent guy. You need to bring that because you're mental. Um, so be careful with that. (laughs) I'll try my best because it 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 can be tricky. Sometimes you you defend like I what somebody said it perfectly. You set the fire. And then turn into the firefighter to take out your own fire so you can see yourself as the hero. Oh, snap. I know. Somebody said it, it was way more like articulate the way they said it. But like that was when they said I was like, that's me. That's good. I am the guy who sets his house on fire and then runs around with a water hose, putting it out and saying, look, I just saved this house. But I'm the one who set it on fire. fire yeah. So like that was like that was the I guess I live through analogies like things. That no, make that's sense, good, though. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, me. this podcast is to help. To help people navigate. Because well, any situation where you feel like you might be a little insane, hit me up. Been there, done that, and look where I'm at. I'm on a podcast with my friends. I'm doing pretty good for myself. Hey, you te- can too. Ooh, come on, advertisement. I know this is gonna be a cut on the. <laughs> you make it real. <laughs> you can too. <laughs> you know me so well. I'm I so know. glad you picked that. No, because we're friends. How many of us have them? friends outside of all of that wonderful it's okay outside of all that wonderful knowledge that you just dropped Mm -hmm. is there anything else that you would like to say to the listeners before we Mm. wrap it up i'm gonna apologize i know i said i was gonna touch base on like the friend zoning thing and totally missed that so we'll say that for another segment but i do want to say when it comes to making friends um it's about quality not quantity Mm -hmm. um if you if you look around you and you have three people who are down for you you have more than what most people will have in a lifetime so (laughs) take take advantage of that appreciate the people around you who love on you and love on them back Mm -hmm. um pour into them as much as they pour into you and uh check yourself where you wreck wreck yourself oh come on see we are friends we're, we're clearly like besties listen I, I posted this on my snapchat like a couple months ago and it's like this little quote and then we gonna be out of here but okay. it was like um once i get once i become a billionaire or i become rich i got like a few friends that's gonna get whatever they want when they want it i was like yeah i got i, I there's two me. that i like for sure like i owe them a lot yeah like y'all gonna get it they know like, who you're gonna get is. a house like a car or something something because you were there for me of all people sure. to be there for shout out to, to she she is a friend of the podcast shout out to caitlin shout out to that's caitlin. my home girl if i ever do become a millionaire you definitely get like at least a car something if i can afford it i'll get you a house too but she already owns she already has a house so she's already doing better than me trips I'm she always has done better than me she's just the better person vacations mm-hmm. i'm sure she'll oh, yeah, buy you like a vacation home or something yeah like i'll buy you like an island she gets to constantly just ride with you on your yeah. vacations. She can, yeah, be, she can be my security guard. She's a bad boot. Ooh. She, I'm scared of her. We don't fight. <laughs> I don't fight her. I'm not getting into an argument with Caitlyn. She can kill me. <laughs> oh, my God. You gotta meet her. And she's like... Oh, she's, she's built. Oh, yeah. Oh. She's a tough chick. Nobody really messes with her. She right. made up her own dad. That's a whole story. And on that I note... Look. <laughs> I'm being messy. Let me stop. I'm doing all her Thank business you. out. Sorry, girl. Love you. Thank I you. Promise I will Shout out to Caitlin <laughs> for being the bomb friend that she, she is. is. She's amazing. She's, I just celebrated her birthday uh, last weekend. Happy Amy. belated birthday. Shout out. She's going to love this. She's going to text me. Oh, I love but making people's day. Another, like, month, so. Don't do me like that. I promise. <laughs> but, uh, actually, you know what? Knowing you, it might come out next week because you ain't sleeping. See, your friends will tell you about yourself. Nelly, you want to go on that segment? <laughs> Next week, we're going to talk about Nelly's sleeping disorder. <laughs> <laughs> we guys help you. Um, we guys. Ooh, that doesn't even sound right, Grammarly. Um, we hope you guys liked it, loved it. And what more of it? Oh. Am I finishing our sentences? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah.